Well, I'm joined now by the Chief Economist for Europe at Standard Chartered Bank, Sarah Hugh, and a very good evening to you, Sarah. Solid performance then from the UK. The Chancellor saying he was happy with the better than expected results, but still a note of caution. Yes, we've seen growth uh, declining over the last year or so, and uh, we are still performing at the weaker end of uh, our competitors. If you look at the OECD, then the UK is, uh, is one of the weakest performers in the, in the group. Um, and should we be worried about that? I mean, we also heard John McDonnell today pointing out that we're actually slipping behind Europe in many ways. We have to remember it's not necessarily comparing like with like. We've done a lot better after the crash than many European countries. There's a huge amount of quantitative easing going on there. We shouldn't be too downbeat on ourselves, should we? No, the economy has done pretty well since the global financial crisis. We were one of the best performing economies and uh, we are at a more mature stage of the economic cycle. Of course, the labour market is strong, so if you look at uh, various other indicators, then it suggests that uh, the economy is, is not doing too badly at all. Having said that, of course, uh, we are seeing a slowdown in consumer spending. We are seeing a squeeze on wages as a result of high inflation. So there are some concerns that uh, over the course of the next year, the economic performance may slow further. What about interest rates? Everybody seems to be in agreement that we're expecting the Bank of England now to raise them next week. Only a fraction, though. Yes, we think that they will raise interest rates by a quarter of a percent. Now, uh, if we go back to August of last year, there was an emergency rate cut because of fears that the Brexit vote would result in a much steeper slowdown in economic activity. Uh, the economy has slowed, but not by nearly as much as the Bank of England feared. So they will probably feel that uh, they can uh, reverse the emergency rate cut of last year, but they will want to signal that this is not the start of a rate hiking cycle. I think it will be very, very gradual, very cautious. And it will be the first since 2007. What will it mean for ordinary people? Will it actually be quite a good thing, for example, for savers. Well, it should be a good thing for savers, and of course, uh, savers have faced in incredibly low interest rates for some time now. For people who have mortgages, of course, those mortgage costs, this uh, mortgage servicing is going to be rising for people who have variable interest rates. So uh, for some people, it is going to be a further squeeze, and the Bank of England will be very cautious about making sure that it doesn't slam the brakes on too far, too fast, and uh, cause a dramatic slowdown in activity. Bank of England will be cautious. Do you think the Chancellor will also be cautious when he's preparing his budget now. We heard him saying earlier, look, OK, the economy is actually doing better than a lot of people feared it would after Brexit, but pointing out Brexit hasn't even really started yet. So he's got to think about all of that, uh, manage all of that with his manoeuvrings uh, and coming up with the budget. You'll expect that to be cautious. Yes, he doesn't have a huge scope for stimulus and there are likely to be some targeted uh, giveaways, um, some help maybe for first-time buyers and uh, addressing some of the intergenerational issues that the, the UK faces. And how will he stimulate productivity crucially? Well, that is a very, very good point. Um, the productivity uh, puzzle has been a, a, a real problem for the economy and nobody quite knows what to do about it. One aspect could be to boost investment but of course as we face uncertainty about Brexit businesses may be cautious about investing so uh, we, we may not see a recovery in productivity growth anytime soon. Okay, Sarah Hewen, really good to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed.